Hey guys, it's Angel from the Media Hub at Vanguard University and today I have another tutorial for you guys. This is going to be on um, duplicating shapes around a circle. So I have four layers open here because I'm going to show you four different methods of rotating shapes around a circle. So right now with this first layer, I'm going to show you the first method of doing so. So I'm going to go to my polygon tool, left click and choose three sides to make a triangle then I'm gonna go to my selection tool and just hold option shift as I drag out to make my shape larger I'm gonna fill it with red red is my favorite color and then now I'm gonna go back to the shapes to, to the shape tool again um click and left click and hold and then go to the lips tool I want to make a circle um, I'm going to hold option shift again to make the circle under the triangle center. I'm going to go to my zoom, hold option to zoom out. Um, just click without option to zoom in. So then hit the V tool to get your selection tool and make sure it's centered with the, with the triangle and then make sure it's touching the triangle under as well. I'm going to click that, go to my color panel here, just change the color real quick to black. And then um, I'm going to make a selection over both shapes, hit command G to group these shapes together. So now they know they're grouped, I'm going to hit command Z to undo that action. And then I'm going to go to effect, distort and transform, transform. You get this transform effect panel. You're going to love this panel a lot. So do nothing on scale. Do nothing on move. Don't rotate anything yet. You want this box first. This box basically controls the way your um, shape is going to get rotated. So right now, if we were to do anything on the copies and rotate, you're basically going to rotate everything from the center of the selection, which in this case with the circle and the triangle is going to be somewhere around here. If you change it to here, however, you're going to rotate everything along the bottom of the circle and you'll see what I mean. So let's say we want 10 copies. So then I'm just going to put 10 copies, hit tab to commit that change. You can preview too. And then I'm going to rotate to a certain angle, but Illustrator can do the math for you. So we all know that a circle has 360 degrees. So to divide we're going to get 360, use a slash, divided by the amount of copies you have, so 10. So I'm going to hit tab, and boom, look at that. And so I'm just going to hit OK, and um, I'm going to zoom out to see what I'm doing. But, like we said, I want to rotate around a circle. I'm going to take away that fill, give that a stroke, make this larger, I just made another shape, make this larger, move this around. I want to put these triangles around this, right? So what I'm going to do is align them to the center of the circle. Once it's the center, let go, and then double click and watch that. Hold shift to keep them proportion evenly spaced and boom. But that's not it. There's more stuff you can do with it. I'm going to go to the um, direct selection tool. That's the A key on the Mac. Select that. Look at that. You can also edit each shape the same way you're editing the original. I'm going to go back to my selection tool, which let's say I want to do this. You can do that as well. Um, one more thing that's also cool. You can go to the appearance panel. I want my appearance panel, please. Okay. So um, now that you're on the appearance panel, you have this transform effect. You're able to edit your um your shapes here so let's say 10 was too much maybe you just want five copies so then you go here 360 divided by five hit tab look at that it changes 
everything for you. So everything here is basically editable, and that's really cool. But I do want the 10, so I'm going to change it back to 10. And then um, do the math again, divided by 10. Actually, Illustrator does it for you. So I got back what I wanted, so I'm going to hit OK. One more thing that's also really cool. You can also add shapes into your selection. So I'm going to go to the ellipse tool again. I want to select that. You have to do it in isolation mode. So do that. And then, oh, see. So I'm going to make sure it's centered. Um, and so if you want to do it, if you don't want to do it like sloppy or like out of center, make sure your smart guides are on so that you're aligning yourself your selection hold shift and option shift is mainly to keep your circle proportionate and even um, whereas alt is to keep it in aligned with all of your other surrounding circles so now you can use your smart guides to align them as you wish I'm gonna change the color of this so that we know what we're messing with. That's basically the first method of um, aligning your shapes, and actually, they're all aligned alone. I did not group it with the circles, so I can just delete that. You can also expand the appearance so that they all become their respective shapes. Um, you have to ungroup them. So Command G, Command G to again. I did the, I did, I ungrouped them twice. So now I delete that. Um, I'm going to copy this circle in the center. I just get the copy and then center it separately. That looks like it's centered. And then just change the color to black. Uh, align that. Boop, boop. Oh, yeah, that's basically the first method. I'm going to show you the next method in the on the next panel. So let's go to the next panel. 